Hello, Collective. Welcome. Welcome aboard. Okay, so... I don't know who this reading is going to be for, but um, <laughs> I was getting some serious downloads. I had to get up. I got up early this morning to write it down, and I swear I could write a book, but I'm not going to make it that long. I'm just going to give you the important keys in this dream. Um... Because there could be like some sort of investigation that somebody is looking at, or I don't know. But this does have to do with some sort of um, shipments going out, illegal shipments. Okay. Again, I don't know who this is for. I'm just here to speak on what spirit has shown me. Okay. And because I am intuitive... I tend to, you know, and I foresee things, I tend to get these downloads in my dreams, and I'm always like a witness in the dream. Um, so, well, let's begin. So the part of the dream that I'm going to speak on is, I was, I had just got to a place, or I had just finished having some sort of lunch with a friend of mine. And closed and I went to the car and I closed the door and I you know she had left and I was walking somewhere else so I had some things in my hands like I, I don't remember I feel like one of them was a coffee cup that could be a um, in connection to the tea you know some sort of information I don't remember what else I had at that particular time in my hands but as I was walking through the sidewalk I did see like a like a suspicious man wearing all dark black clothes and he kept walking though but I kept that in my mind in my memory and then as I continue to walk I see this big tree and I look up and I don't know what to make of this but this was really weird there was someone in the tree trying to camouflage themselves and it looked like you know how spider-man kinda has those alien eyes it kinda looked like a spider-man outfit that was a little too baggy for someone his whole face was covered and he was kinda looking down towards me and I'm like okay but he kinda looked like an alien it, it was weird <laughs> I was like okay <coughs> Uh, here we go <coughs> always I didn't cough all day so here we go we're speaking some truth here so I continued walking and you know I'm keeping this in my mind I'm like I wasn't scared but I thought it was weird and whoever that was was very fixated on watching me so as I continued to walk there's a another man okay with like long shaggy kind of dirty blonde shoulder maybe shoulder length or slightly longer than his shoulders and he had some planks wood planks they're about they're about this long so he threw one at me and mind you my hands are full so the plank I see it like in almost like in slow motion coming towards me and I caught it with my neck and my shoulder right so I'm pinching this plank with my neck and my shoulder as I'm carrying all this other stuff and I take my right hand and you know as the guy is like circling me I'm like what are we, are we about to fight here what's going on so I took my right hand with whatever I had in it and I hit the plank so that it would ricochet back to him so I think it kind of um, bounced off his head and then as soon as that happened I continued to walk and there comes another guy at me with this melon and I'm like okay so all of a sudden I have a hammer in my hand and I'm like okay I guess he wants me to crack the melon so I hit the melon um, like it didn't crack the first time so he stood there till I cracked it again and this whole time I'm thinking to myself okay these must be tests that I'm going through here why so the melon cracked and then that guy disappeared and then all of a sudden I'm walking with a bunch of like maybe not a bunch it's like five people all together 
at night towards um, the docks, okay, where they have shipments, towards the docks. Um, and in my mind's eye, before that happened, I had a flash of fish, like a bunch of fish, okay? So, and they were big silver fish. It almost looked, I want to say there were tarpon, okay? So we got planks, we got melon, we got temp, uh, uh, tarpon. It could have been another fish, I don't know. Um, so that's, you know, question mark there. And then we have, um, I said melon, we have melon and the hammer. So right away, next to the docks, right? So right away that tells me, okay, so there's something to do with, shipment of fish and melon in some sort of planks right wooden boxes shipping um boxes so so then i'm with this group and there's a little trolley by the dock um you know not super small but like let's say like three or four golf carts put together it was you know that kind of um trolley and the head I guess the head of the group was this older black man he was I would say I would peg him in his 40s maybe 42 mid 40s early 40s could be late 30s 37 I'm not sure but somewhere in that vicinity and um, the people I was walking with there were like five of them something like that there was a black girl that I that was kind of next to me and um she was like 25 27 the most it was like i was with a group of like 20 something year olds and i'm and, and i'm thinking to myself because they just finished i don't know what they just finished doing or they were what about what they were about to do but it was like a group like this black man put together to basically help him in whatever this is that he was doing which I'll get to in a second um, and I'm thinking to myself wow these people are really brainwashed because they were like woohoo you know like this is what we do this is what we're here for uh, we're a family and you know and I'm like okay wow these people are really brainwashed I'm like they're not gonna brainwash me you know I'm thinking to myself no way I'm not on that you know I, I've surpassed the mind imprisonment and control so that's not going to be me so i'm thinking to myself i must be here in some sort of like undercover spiritual undercover investigation here so i just kind of went with the flow and we get on this trolley and we go back to i guess the headquarters and there was another black girl in that trolley and she was saying i don't want to go back and she could have been like 35 32 okay and i remember seeing a mary go round in my mind's eye while the trolley dropped us off at this you know headquarters which is not far from the dock okay it's, it's not far at all it's like a little trip or you know time lapse there whatever and then all of a sudden the black girl myself got dropped off there the the there was a younger black guy i don't know where he went he went off somewhere else and i guess that chick that did not want to go back went back with the the ringleader or whatever you want to call him so I'm like okay so we go up the stairs to this place I guess by the docks and as soon as I walk in I see all this like really expensive equipment I can't tell you it precisely but there could have been weapons there hand grenades uh, there could have been other things like but the ex uh, it could be equipment that the police are the ones that have this kind of equipment I'm not sure but there were definitely cops in there and the girl was telling me that she worked at dispatch with you know at, at the police center so she she knows all the codes because she's used to hearing you know the walkie talkies and whatever the cops speaking in code so she's she knows like how to you know tell what they mean so as soon as we walk into an office there was a a blonde lady she could have been maybe 52 mid 50s 
there was an older gentleman that was tall. He had um, like kind of curly, short, white hair. Um, he could have been in his 60s. And then there was a cop dressed in uniform. He looked like he could have been Latin with black hair. He looked like he could have been maybe 32 or 27, somewhere in that vicinity. And I'm saying this because I don't know who's going to resonate with this, so I have to give details. And then the the uh, tall white, well, first the the blonde lady looked like she was kind of in charge of something, or maybe like a supervisor of of the police department. I don't know, or maybe you know, maybe maybe not. Maybe she had a higher position, and she was like, "Oh, who are these people?" And somebody said, "Oh, they're okay. She, she works with dispatch." And I'm just this is my first time here, so I'm like, I'm with her, I guess. I, you know, I don't know with the black girl that worked at this patch. So the tall guy says he he was talking about someone that wasn't in the room that was the head of the department. Um so I guess he moved up within the company or something. He wasn't in the room, but that's the one that I kind of want to speak to because of what this older man said. He said, "Oh, so and so uh predicted something would happen two years before it happened okay so that's significant there um and it happened and that's how he got i guess promoted to chief or whatever you know and i'm like well that i'm thinking to myself well that's the guy i want to talk to because you know i have predictions so he would understand where i'm coming from and i would like to know you know what he foresees so that's kind of where that ended okay now, this expensive equipment, obviously there's got to be some sort of undercovers and an investigation going on. Okay, that first off, first off. And then this equipment is very expensive. So they're shipping this equipment in boxes camouflaged with fish and melon or, or uh, you know, produce, basically, in wooden planks. That's what I got from that. But it's illegal shipments, okay? They're making money off of some sort of illegal shipments, okay? And there's some sort of investigation going on with that. I have no idea why I dreamt that or who's going through that. Maybe there's a cop watching. I don't know. But we're going to see what we get from this. I still... So the alien or whatever that guy dressed as a as Spider-Man, whatever he was doing... I guess he was spying, incognito, because he was camouflaged, trying to camouflage, but I saw him clearly. The man with the plank and the, the other man with the melon, I just feel like, and the hammer was basically telling me that something is about to be broke open. Cops are maybe are about to bust these people, and you know, you need the hammer to maybe open up these boxes. And dig through the uh, produce and the fish to get to whatever is being hidden there. That's what I was getting. So let's see what's going on here. So we have marriage here. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but we have main female. Somebody here could be married and they're into this this stuff. And we have a wealthy man here. This could be something that someone that's married is... Um, well, there's the shipment. Okay. Somebody that's married here could be in some crooked things and that's why they're wealthy. Okay. This stuff was definitely um, worth money. Okay, I'm, I'm getting this as like the wooden box, okay, with coffin and um, distant horizon. So something overseas, clearly here. Yeah, someone that could be held in high honor. This could even be somebody in the police department. I don't know, or they're in the military, or they were. I don't know, it feels like somebody in a high position doing some crooked things. And I feel like they're about to get busted. It is what I was getting. 
Okay, let's let's look at that. Yeah. Somebody held in high honor, stealing, making money off of something crooked. Can't make it up. So there's going to be some change happening here to this community and this privileged lady. So I don't know if they're in cahoots, this husband and wife, or if she's oblivious to it. I'm not sure. There's some sort of message. Sudden wealth. You see this? Sudden wealth with message about a shipment with thief. There's some sort of change. This could be change in a direction of maybe somebody's catching on that somebody could be watching them or something. And there could be some, or this is just saying change is coming because they're about to get caught. Okay. They're thinking about this money. They're concerned about this great fortune. Mm-hmm. There's judication. So they know, yeah, court. They're about to get caught up, whoever this is, because they're concerned about it. They're thinking, they're, see, they have a guilty conscience thinking about this money, okay? And now I see adjudication in court here. Oh, somebody's going to lose it all. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not worth, like what, you lived a life for that rich life for what, a few years, 10 years, maybe 5 years, 7 years, I'm getting maybe 12 years. Like you live or you lived a life for four years and to what to lose every single thing and then be in jail after you were held in high honor a thief being held in high honor because nobody knows they're crooked yeah they're on the pathway to poverty and despair wow message of concern yeah that they're gonna have to work <laughs> or you know whatever this is it's gonna um, be heavy Yeah, somebody is definitely going to go to jail. Okay. There could be children involved. Children could be taken away. I don't know, man. Let's see. The Hierophant with the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, whoever is um, portraying to be... Somebody has, like, people hold this person in high honor. Uh, the the his luck is about to change for the worse. Whoever this is, I mean, shit, it could be a pastor. I don't know. I don't know who who that black guy was. I know that he was wearing a suit. You know, maybe he does this at night. It was nighttime, maybe you know, nighttime trade. You know, under the table, definitely. Somebody here is getting too greedy. Yeah, they needed to, they needed some prudence. Okay, cruelty here. I don't know how deep this goes, man, but this is uh, yeah, wealth. Cruelty for wealth. So who knows what they're doing here? What the fuck? <sighs> yeah, dead fish, dead fish. And the seagulls are giving me, you know, they always hang around the shipment places. The emperor, yeah. Somebody definitely held in high honor doing this. Like, it's always, it's always those though, right? People look up to these people and then they're doing the most behind the scenes. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Shit's changing here. Something, karma's here. Something is changing. So the wheel started turning because something is shifting here. Something is coming to light. And because of free will, right, somebody decided to take their destiny in this direction, well, it's going to blow up in their face. Fortitude. Main female. That's the Nine of Wands. Somebody here is going to play the victim. They should have had fortitude. Power. Yeah, somebody thought they had the power. Okay, with this shipment stuff. Okay. Somebody going to lose power. 
Yeah, disappointment. Disappointment with coffin. There could be something that's being shipped that um, didn't come as expected. And that's maybe where the, the something they did was where the, was what, it's like a snag. There was a snag here with a shipment or, or this is a lot of shipment. This ain't just like one box. No, this is like big time shipment. Okay. Where other people obviously are involved in this that shipped these packages clearly and whatever he got or is getting whenever this happens this because I feel like this is coming up I don't know there's something about it that's a disappointment maybe he didn't get everything that he wanted or he didn't get the return that he wanted but something happens here that causes a cause and effect is what I'm hearing that causes an effect and the wheel to turn where this karma is going to start rolling and something is going to come to light about this um, you know this um, shadiness that's happening here okay that's what I'm getting yeah interference interference Oh, and also remember, I saw a, a merry-go-round. So I don't know if this is by, I don't know, you know, I don't know of docks that are by maybe some sort of fair or a theme park or something with a Ferris wheel. It could be a mall that has a, a not a Ferris wheel. Well, I see a Ferris wheel here. Could There could be a Ferris wheel by this dock, by these docks. Um, it could be like a mall with a merry-go-round, something about a merry-go-round, a trolley, I don't even know. I couldn't tell you where this is either. Yeah, swiftness. Eight of Wands. Fortitude and swiftness. I'm wondering what this main female knows. Because I feel like this main female could be even, maybe she knows and she's planning her escape. I don't know. I swear I could write a movie with this, this, uh, these downloads. The Matriarch. The Queen of Pentacles. With Distant Horizon. Damn, is this like a family across the way? Like, okay, this has to do with like a whole nother family. Okay, wow. Ugh. Whoever they're in cahoots with on the other side of the country, the world, whatever. Um, they got a whole... So there's a wealthy man and a wealthy woman. And matriarch. So is this queen of pentacles in cahoots? Because they got the power. Okay, we're going to clear that up in a second. We have love. Disappointment. Okay, this could just be his, their wife, his wife. Swiftness, interference. His wife might be oblivious. I don't know. We have disappointment. Okay, let's see. We have the dancer with interference. Oh boy. Yeah, this person. <laughs> yep, they're going to jail. They're going to jail. This man, female, could be trying to get away though. Eight of Wands. Or they could be just tired of, of... Maybe they're going to talk. There could be a, a, a dancer here that this 
um, wealthy man is, um, somebody's interfering in, in, in whatever this marriage is here. There could be a dancer that this wealthy man is, like, seeing on the side. Why am I getting all of that? The tower. Ooh, yeah. So whoever this family is across the way, they don't even know. They're, like, wealthy. Their whole family is wealthy. They got the power somewhere. They get, you know. So this wealthy man is held in high honor. This wealthy woman on the other side of the country is held in high honor. And they're both in cahoots with this whole shipment thing. But there's a tower here. And this person don't even know that this is coming. Because they're on the other side of the world, the other side of the country. So they're shipping something over. And this is where the, the where they're going to be busted. Is wherever this wealthy man is. He's going to jail. The public defender. Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person's gonna need a public defender. Wow. So if he's held in high honor, his wife could be too. But maybe she didn't know nothing about it though. Satiety and justice. The hacker. Mm, yeah, there's definitely law law enforcement here. Spies, hacking accounts, watching, trying to bring justice to a situation. Um, we have gain with the nine of pentacles. The costume designer. Valor. Seven of wands. Oh, so this person's trying to protect. A dancer here. What the hell? Because there's a single person um, that, whoever this dancer is, this wealthy man is paying. Um, they could be a costume designer. It doesn't have to be. They could just be someone that's kind of creative. Maybe they make uh, dress costumes or something like that. He's protecting whoever this dancer is. Okay, so they're watching this dancer as well. This person could have a whole family here with the Ten of Cups. Um, this, obviously, this married couple. And there's something about death with the Empress. Yeah, this is going to bring a... Yeah, this, this clarity is bringing an ending to a marriage. With an Empress, this is a wife. Because somebody here is going to be disappointed. They had no idea. Yeah. Whatever this clarity is, it's bringing major change. They had no idea. They may have to speak some truth. Oh, maybe they have to speak the truth. Because I see it here, Eight of Wands. Their main female. Or is this the side chick? Somebody's going to find out about this side chick. They're going to find out about the shipment stuff and how this person really makes their money. But they have a they they have they're held in high honor with whatever they do, whether they're a pastor or or a general or you know whatever they do in the public eye somehow some way. The truth is going to come out to this, this wife, this empress. First off, definitely, I feel like this main female could be this, this dancer that's being, you know, well taken care of by this wealthy man, right? She's going to speak up. Because you know how sometimes men, they, you know, men that do shady shit. And they're married and they have like a side chick and then they tell everything to their side chick. And, you know, they keep them all like, you know, abundant. You know, they, they pay for everything. They keep them all happy because, you know, that that's who they go to, like to 
to vent about everything. So this dancer knows a lot more <laughs> than what people, that anyone would think. So she could sell him out. And it looks like that's what's going to happen with the Eight of Wands and oppression here. That's what I'm seeing. So it's going to cause major change and it's going to complete a cycle. Wow. It's going to be on the news. The journalist. Yeah. That this person had someone else too. Fooey. And failure. Failed at everything here. Yeah. At gaining this wealth. Or maintaining it. We have the Queen of Cups with the lovers. The therapist. Okay. So somebody may need therapy after this. The Hierophant. Oh wow. This person could have went through a, to a therapist. This Hierophant. Or this marriage. They could. These, these lovers could have went to therapy. Or they're planning on it. I don't know. That's what it looks like there. It's a new day ruined yeah all this happiness fakeness with luxury it's it's going to ship ten of swords wow what the hell's going on collective oh we tell me about this prince of uh, this main female like what the hell she about to speak up. So they could have been going through couples ter therapy, this married couple. So you know the therapist probably knows a lot. I don't know. You know, they're not allowed to tell anybody what you speak with them about. Damn, but what's going on on the other side of the freaking country? How they, how, because they can't arrest them if they're on the other side of the country. There needs to be an investigation over there. With the, with whoever is shipping or, or, you know, shipping things back to them. So whatever this expensive equipment is, oh, I also saw something about, it could be like, um, AI stuff. I was getting something about robots. Whatever this is, expensive. Tell me about this main female. What is she going to be saying here? King of Cups. Okay, so this, this married man really fell for whoever this main female is. Yeah, five of cups. He gonna regret ever giving time to this one. Cause she gonna speak up. She gonna sell him out. Yep, eight of cups. Walking away from, from this person. Six of cups, eight of cups. She's gonna sell him out. They could have met a long time ago. They could have had an affair for a long time. Oh, so they could feel like they had a some sort of soul connection to that person. King of Swords, Knight of Swords. So this person became kind of bitter. This could have even been like somebody they they knew in the past. And they always kept like going back and forth to this person, but they got married. And they still kept messing with this person. Damn, like what the hell? This, this, I feel like they're a dancer. Or they do something, you know, tabooish. It, it just feels like they're either a, or like a burlesque dancer or a stripper. Whoever this, this married man is dealing with on the side. Tell me about this um, Queen of Pentacles with the power here. Yeah, they're under judgment. So, yeah. Spirit ain't letting this pass by. They're both getting it. Yeah, Nine of Swords. They're, they have anxiety. 
See, these people do this stuff, and you saw how the, the wealthy man was in deep concern and thought about all this money because he's afraid that he's going to be found out, which is exactly what's going to happen. And this, this Queen of Pentacles that has some sort of power um, across the way, she in, she in anxiety because judgment is here. She's going to hear about this or see it on the news. So they, they must be getting investigated as well. I'm not sure. Tell me more here. I'm like, Spirit be giving me some weird tea. <laughs> I'm like, why do I need to know this? I guess somebody needs to hear it. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, working together. Exactly. Judgment on that ass. Ten of Cups. Family. Oh, snap. So this is family they're working with? We had family over here, too. So this is a fucking family? There's family members involved here. Nine of Pentacles with the Strength and the Seven of Wands. There's something about stand back. Okay, so somebody here is protecting their energy. Six of Wands. Oh. I don't know if some of you are being protected for having the strength to speak the truth. You're going to get some sort of award or something. Some sort of success. And yeah, you're heading towards a new chapter in life. So... Maybe somebody here is bringing forth some sort of truth because in the dream, I was like a, an intuitive, like uh, somebody that has prophecies, which, which I, I, I do, and that didn't change in the dream. So this could be one of you guys if you are an intuitive and you have prophecies and you work with the department or they're going to hire you to do something because they need to find out something I don't know this, this, this is connecting to somebody here could be just one person out here okay this is very specific tell me more about this family yeah shady business the moon working with family across the way so they have family overseas. Where? I don't know. I'm kind of getting like Italy or something. King of Pentacles. Yeah, the hangman waiting on that money. King of Swords, Knight of Swords. Tell me more. Hmm. Yeah, they're, go they're celebrating too early because look, Wheel of Fortune wrong way these people are celebrating too early they don't even see this coming they don't wow tower moment indeed man that tower they're gonna run oh they might even catch them in the middle of the what on the way something about new york could be something about new york italy docks something like that I'm also seeing a Cuban link I don't know man take take this how you... oh lordy lordy they may stop these people in the middle of the way or right as they're like docking Hey, all I, all I, I'm, I'm only talking about what I saw in my dream, okay? I'm not naming any names. I don't know who this is. You know? But I feel like there is somebody who can foresee, or you have, you're working with someone, and you're being protected. And you're going to get some sort of award for this. Where you can go off into a whole new direction. You could be under like 
or will be under some sort of, um, what do you call it? I'm, I'm wrapped up in this and sometimes I forget this most simple things. Uh, protective custody. I mean, services. Protective services. Tell me about this um, public defender. Shit, that could be you. Defending the public. Yeah, the high priestess. I can't make this up. So you're the public defender here. You're bringing justice to a situation. Oh shit, this is somebody that... Damn. What the fuck? We have love here. This is somebody that you're disappointed in. And you're, you're getting messages about this per The spirit is giving you the tea about something. Um, trying to bring... They're speaking through you to bring some sort of justice here. Oh shit. So this person so this person betrayed you or something? They didn't go towards you or something? Oh, is this what this is? Six of Cups, Five of Cups, King of Cups. They regret something here that they did in the past. Walking away from you? There's a there's a did this person marry a dancer? Or somebody that, that is promiscuous? Okay, because that could be it. You're not doing this out of spite, though. Spirit is just simply giving you the tea. I don't know if you know it's that person, though. This is so freaking crazy. So you are this public defender. Because of your intuition, your downloads, and your prophecies, you're about you're gonna get a reward for something here. Damn, I don't know what's going on, but this, this is this is uh this is a this is not a small thing. It's already being investigated though. Like you're just basically shedding, you know, maybe like there's holes in the case, and maybe people are watching you to get some sort of information here. But if they're watching you and you have a platform for whoever this is, it's because you're connected to this wealthy man. Spiritually, I feel here. But they did you dirty. Basically, they're, they're all about materialism and power. Ego. So they're doing dirty things under the radar. But karma is here. They've been being watched by the divine. So even if you didn't bring it forth, unbeknownst to you even, spirit would have brought it out somehow, some way. It, it's their karma. You get what you put out. So, so you're basically, spirit is giving you the downloads because they're trying to give you a heads up as to what this person is truly about. That's married to someone else. Maybe somebody that is promiscuous. Somebody that's... They chose like... Yeah, power, money, sex, lust. Over you. Damn. This could be an ex of yours or somebody that... You were their main female because you're spiritually connected to them. Like, you could be a divine feminine. This could be like somebody that was supposed to be your, your twin here. And failed miserably. They're a fallen angel kind of energy. A fall from grace. Definitely. Or it could just be you had a soul tie. A karmic tie to that person. I don't know. But this feels like somebody. Somebody ignored what they were feeling. Because we have the king of cups. Five of cups. To go towards material gains. Power. Sex. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Versus real love. Is what I'm getting here. Damn. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Deception, lies. Knight of Cups. Temperance. Five of Swords. Yeah. Wow. This person has a lot of, like, ego and they're very envious type of person. 
They do shady shit. This person could drink a lot. Wow. Yeah, the emperor. They could be younger than you or just they're really immature. Okay. Um, wow. Yeah, five of pentacles. They're about to lose it all. Queen of pentacles. That's this person across this, the seas with the five of pentacles. Yeah. The disappointment is they're not getting what they thought they wanted. In fact, whoever, whatever they thought they were getting in the shipment... Something could have happened to this Queen of Pentacles wherever she was at across the way, which is a family family ties here, whatever the shady thing is. Um, they could be getting caught before they do, and maybe that's why they're disappointed. There's some sort of trade that's not going right, but it's for a reason. It's what like kicks off this whole. It, it's a snag. That's like spirit working behind the scenes. Some spirit is doing something here. Damn, guys, this is horrible. Like, what the hell is your person? Not even your person, you know. Whoever you... It's definitely, I feel you have a spiritual connection to this person. But they walked away from you. It And, and you actually, like, dodged a major bullet because... If they're doing stuff like this, they could know that you're not into shady shit because you're a high priestess, okay? You're a public defender. Some of you could be lawyers, okay? Or judges, I don't know. But some of you are just extremely intuitive. You're a high priestess, so you have that hidden knowledge. You have prophecies. The truth gets downloaded to, to your psyche from spirit because you're here to bring some sort of justice Wow. This is nuts, man. I mean, this person might even turn themselves in. I feel like once they're cornered, they have no choice but to speak up. That's what I'm getting. Whatever happened, they're not making... It's like the whatever last shipment here happened. They didn't get the return they were expecting. Five of Pentacles with the Emperor. Something went wrong here. Okay, whatever they were trying to manifest, it, it just didn't, it didn't pan out. Yeah. Queen of Cups, Justice. Two of Swords. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Ten of Wands. This is giving me handcuffed. So both this, both, both, both of them. So this husband and wife. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, they're going to be doing time. This is going to be on the news, like, definitely. Damn. This goes deep, because you... You are not to be messed with on a spiritual level. I feel like you had a, a spiritual connection. You have a spiritual connection to this person. And whatever they did to you back here in the past, that you walked away or they walked away from you, it must have been bad what they did, maybe behind your back even, with this dancer they married or this low vibrational energy. She doesn't have to be a dancer, but she could be like promiscuous, young, um, immature. You know, they, if they're choosing power, money, superficiality, they're going to get with somebody superficial. 
okay they're not they're not um, going about money in the right way it's more in an egotistical way so you could have been like too good for this person they knew that you would never like go for that type of lifestyle is what I'm getting here so it's almost like wow this is nuts and it's not even like you're trying to sell this person out like you're just getting the downloads I don't know who this is for guys but damn it this is like oh I mean yeah this this connection was disappointing it's uh it's done like it wasn't meant for you because of the choices they made and the choice what goes around comes back around with the wheel of fortune they could have just walked away and you know met somebody else and went about their way but they did something unjust here when it came to you and then whatever they did with this person they married so they tried to build an empire on very faulty grounds with the person they chose and maybe it's because you were like a simple person okay like you know you're 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 more simple like life to you isn't of just materialism and power and control and your mindset is different you you're you're spiritual you're awakened you're you have a deeper connection to spirit and you know to nature to the world you you see things with different eyes and this person is very physical, um, you know, physical 3D type of energy. They don't, they weren't seeing things from a higher perspective. They were more stubborn in, in trying to be in control of whatever it is they're doing there. Damn. I mean, karma is really fucking going to hit this person hard if it's not already. Like that tower right in the middle of the ocean while I see this shipment coming. And karma here for whoever this Queen of Pentacles, across family member across the way. This could be an aunt. This could be a sister, a, a cousin. She got a family. But she's doing shady shit with this King of Pentacles because it's a wealthy man. And he got the Wheel of Fortune too, but this is about to go south, man, with judgment here. Woo. They're going into poverty. Damn. I mean, they're getting some, they're going to get some serious karma for this. Wow. I'm just like bamboozled here. Tell me about the High Priestess. Seven of Wands. You're being protected. Okay. Yeah. You're being protected because you speak the truth. Yeah, that's what you do. Eight of Pentacles. You speak truth. You're a public defender, whether it's through being in the uh, court system or through spirituality. For whoever I'm picking up, though, I feel like you're you're doing it through through sheer intuition. You know, th no matter what you do for a living, um, you're getting downloads from spirit because you are tapped in and you are protected. Yeah, you're something is gonna move you forward here. The fool, the chariot, six of wands, that's victory, ace of pentacles, for having the strength to speak the truth, okay? Independence. Yeah. Damn. 
I mean, what else can we say here? Tell me about this dancer. Page of Cups. Uh, this person is looking to go somewhere else. Two of Cups. Wow. The world. Whatever contract he signed with this one, the world, that's just going to be over. Eight of Wands. Page of Cups, Two of Cups. Oh, shit. This bitch could be pregnant. What is this? Queen of Swords. Page of Swords. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Ooh. This person is pregnant by someone else. Knight of Wands with the Seven of Cups. Page of Swords, Queen of Swords, the Empress. So this is an Empress in reverse. Oh, shit. So this bitch got this person thinking they're soulmates or something? Oh, man. This person made somebody their wife. And she was the wrong type of person to wife up. This bitch got pregnant by someone else. Oh, shit. There could be something going on online about this. Some sort of truth that she was cheating. Like, there could be some gossip on social media. Somebody got the tea. And they're talking about it. Oh, man. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Nine of Wands with the Ten. Yeah, that's going to be it. Wow. He might have to kick this bitch out. Oh, yeah. Ooh, wee. The fucking plot thickens, man. Damn. This bitch, this mother. See, this person sat here and chose this low vibrational ass. Empress in reverse energy and then flaunted it I feel online so you could see it that's how superficial this person is like you didn't even do anything to hurt this person you were just minding your own business being you you could have had a, a genu you know you had a genuine attraction to this person clearly because there was a uh, a connection here six of cups with the didn't we have the two of cups there yeah when we flipped it over and I put it back in the deck okay and this person ignored what they were feeling though the king of cups is there and they regret it with the five of cups because they listen to their ego so I don't know if they got arrested already but they will be they ruined their whole life simply because they ignored their intuition their heart and because they were in their ego and so materialistic you may not have had much at that moment they might have seen you as someone too simple for them that's messed up especially if this was supposed to be your counterpart oh man oh suck it suck it now what, what do these people do for a living let's see I'm not going to make this reading too long. I think it's pretty obvious what's happening here. That tower is going to hit hard. I'll, I'll clarify the tower. That's a hard tower. That's, I mean, you see that shit? Those waves crashing on that tower with the freaking Statue of Liberty here? Shit's about to go down. That, that's a hard tarot. A tarot. Tower. It looks like it's made of freaking concrete and steel. No, yeah, mm -mm. for that to blow up, damn, they thought they had a solid plan. What does this person do for a living? This wealthy man. We have house flipper, so they could flip houses.
be a drummer or a spirit is saying drum roll we have pilot flight attendant this person could you know I feel like they do fly from place to place that's what I'm getting somebody could be in a entertainment industry influencer yeah ghost hunter paranormal they could be into stuff like that songwriter yeah they do travel a lot okay songwriter influencer we have something about the military here dreamer believer jack of all trades okay creative working with your hands so this is the kind of person that's always looking um, for an outlet to make money whether it's good or bad okay and for you guys you could be a, like a spiritual teacher if you're not a spiritual teacher you have a lot of spiritual knowledge okay and you're here to speak the truth you're being extremely protected though anything else here Damn. know what they're trading but yeah they could be a judge or a lawyer here that they're gonna need is what I'm seeing here they could like to swim they could love being by water anything else yeah this is a singer this is somebody in the entertainment industry travel influencer singer songwriter yeah this, this is this is something going on right now this whatever this lawyer they have a lawyer they play the drums they flip houses I'm telling you they're held in high honor this person could work with um, I heard the House of Representatives this person could work because they're held in high honor. They're a hierophant. So whoever they work with, they have high positions. So th this is going down. Like, oh my God. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. they were willing to do something and that's how they got involved with higher ups man you know there could be something here where they're doing it for whatever this is for family across the way I don't know but it's not all because of that it's also because it's, it's just crooked it's a crooked thing <sighs> what a shame like somebody got with somebody and like this person just really I don't know who this person is that they married but they really did a number on this it's almost like Bonnie and Clyde, yeah, energy. Whoever they got with, this is a this is a person that I almost feel like this could even be a copycat. If this bitch tried to be the empress, because she came in talking about yeah, we're we're meant to be. Clearly, that's not the case here. You wouldn't be here if that's the case. Wow. This is like, a, um, not only did they break laws in the physical, they broke universal laws. Like, and they also went up against a, a soul tie, a, soul con a spiritual connection. Like, they really did you dirty, man. 
Let me see something here real quick and then we'll move on. 105.5. I saw definitely some changes coming. This is crazy. And before I flip that, let me just clarify this tower. 6 of Wands. This is going to be out in the public. Yeah, the tower again. And that's the truth. It's going to be a shocking truth. Everybody's going to know. Wow, the chariot, ace of pentacles with the strength, everybody's going to know the tower twice, it's like everybody's dirty laundry, is, uh, these people's dirty laundry is going to be exposed out in the public. Yeah, dirty laundry, money laundering. And this bitch pregnant? Oh, man. Oh, buy somebody else. <laughs> oh, my God. What a mess. Keep it pushing. Sink or swim. Creative pursuit. Stylish. Uh, fashionista. Trendsetter. So, let me go back to this here. Yeah, so you're the one being protected here. These people could be watching you through fake accounts. Okay? The justice system is watching your your uh, your social media, your accounts, and you're being protected. Wow, these people going to try to end your life? They know you're the truth, by the way. And that you speak the truth. Yeah, completion. You're completing a cycle. It's definitely going to be on the news. Wow. Failure. These people could have tried to... So they knew you were talking some sort of truth. But you may just be talking. And you didn't know it was about this person. I don't know. These people are you you're being watched by the by the justice system. And I feel like they know these people were trying to unalive you somehow. Stunning, you make my heart skip a few beats. This is you moving forward, I feel here. Sleepover, I just want to lay with you. Have breakfast with you and get to know you on a deeper level. Let me see what this what is this? Yeah, shocked. There's no denying what has been seen, said or heard. Keep it pushing, sink or swim. I feel like maybe you warned somebody about like being with somebody here. This karmic. They might not have been with you because maybe you, like, you're psychic or something. I mean, definitely psychic, but you may have a channel or you speak it on social media. I don't know. They didn't want you knowing their business. Yeah. Open crown chakra. Connected to the cosmos. Working with ascended masters. Downloads important information, insight, and clarity. 
symphony harmony in what is coming together so you're definitely going to meet someone else here yeah cognitive distortion negative thinking and perception with sleepover this person um they wanted you sexually but they couldn't be with you in a different way because they were not in the right energy they have um they have a dis this is a distorted masculine they have a distorted view a very limited perspective and uh, very different belief systems than you do they're not ascended that they're, they're toxic yeah uncouth rude strange rugged lack of manners and sophistication possible alcoholic that's what's um, distorting their their mind is the toxicity and unable to break through conscious patterns yeah they took a gamble without risk no come no rewards okay yeah pregnancy a DNA test may be needed cloud nine arrested yeah definitely they're getting arrested or they are or they have and they're thinking about this pregnancy and they're also thinking about you you're bound to no one independent non-attachments oh so when that older gentleman said that that guy that some guy that has a higher position it could be a representation of your ranking also because he said that he predicted something that happened two years later so this could be a prediction that you had does this is reminding me of a reading I did and it was about two years ago or maybe three years ago I don't remember I, I vaguely remember a reading where I saw somebody was gonna get arrested down they were on the path to get arrested So whoever, you could be a male predicting this, okay, because it was a male in my dream. Um, you could be a male or female, I'm not sure. But whoever's predicting, Queen of Wands, you could be King or Queen of Wands. Um, I'm just getting that public defender, but as a high priest, high priestess vibe. You're, you're helping solve a case, unbeknownst to you, is what I feel. Yeah, we have abundance, overcoming dark times, a time for overwhelming fullness in heart, life, and wealth. You're going to be able to, like, really move forward here and be free of whatever this is. Yeah, you have a secret admirer, a gift from a known or unknown source could be somebody in the fashion industry or or you're you're you are in the fashion industry or you're just very creative yeah we have fake identity they can't keep up with this facade okay and journey I want to walk the rest of this journey with you oh man that's Emperor and Empress vibes but cognitive distortion this person suppressed how they feel they know who you are They're not going to be able to be with you. They're going to jail. Wow. Unwanted news. Things are not going as they hoped. They're feeling resentful. Yeah, they're not going to they're not going to be able to be with you. Composer, a change in perspective inspires a different tune. Secret admirer. This is a songwriter. Once again, this is a songwriter. A singer. Thief. With fake identity. Theft. Failed attempts to hack accounts, steal information, and or property. They can't keep up with this facade. It's like, what, what did they do? Why would they, why did they take this route? Why did, it's like they were in their ego and they just fucking, 
I'm already here. Let's go down the rabbit hole. And because deep down inside, this person, this is not who they are. They fake, fake identity. Like, but they're sort of distorted mentally because of all this toxicity. This person definitely needs therapy. Yeah, look, we have revenge. What they are plotting will never prosper. Oh, okay, so this is a karmic here in the middle. Or they're plotting something here. Yeah. So they're plotting. Oh, okay, maybe they're trying to get you pregnant? What? They're still plotting on you? What the fuck is wrong with this person? Or there's or this is a karmic here. Tell me more about this composer. Secret admirer. I feel like this karmic is, is the really crazy, crazy one though. And drag this person to hell. It's very promiscuous. Yeah. Hookups connecting for all the wrong reasons. That's this composer. Nervous, especially vent approaches, self defense. Do not mistake my kindness for weakness. You're a faithful woman or man. Zombie tree uprooted. This, founda this foundation has um, run its course. Chemistry bonus. Moving on. Uh-uh, don't, don't allow this person to sleep with you. They're trying to get some sort of information on you. This person's watching you. Yeah, spiritual bounty. Multiple wrongs done against someone, either physically or spiritually. So, you got a bodyguard here. You got a spiritual bodyguard. There's a bounty over this person's head. Because of this, Devil's Advocate, Seven Sins, Dark Energy expresses the views and wishes of the shadows. Wow. This, per this is crazy, though, because this person's, like, yearning for you, but yet they're in such a dark place because of this karmic as well and the life they chose. And the moves they made. Yeah, busted. Police, arrest, enforcement. The jig is up. Can't make it up. Yeah, you guys are going your separate ways, absolutely. This person ain't for you, even if even if it is a, a spiritual connection. Shit. That don't mean shit. Actions, man. People have free will and they do the most sometimes. Connecting with nature and Mother Earth. Separate ways, after much deliberation, contemplation, and useful information, you can now move forward into a new path with confidence. Yeah, you're going to be falling in love with someone new, okay? M most definitely, yeah. Self-care, purification, unbothered, dawn of a new day. A new day has um, arrived, set yourself free, live, love, laugh, um dance and enjoy the moment you're definitely going to be with someone else okay if somebody family oriented okay sweet thoughts lead to sweet memories <coughs> <coughs> you're gonna be wow somebody doesn't want me to speak on that mm -hmm. so i'm gonna probably leave it there um you're gonna be taken by a healing sensation definitely that was a sign for me to shut the fuck up okay that's because they don't want to hear this. They don't want to hear this. They wanted their cake and they still want to eat it too. Even after all of this. This is crazy reading. So much fucking sh bombs in here. Like, what the? So you have a secret admirer that you're going to meet. Okay. Definitely. Like, every time I try to speak on it, my throat closes up. So I'm going to stop there. Um... 
all right guys that's that's all i have to say i think i think we've said enough wow all right um let me know in the comments if anybody resonates with this this is nuts this is this is nuts truth is coming out for sure um i'll talk to you guys later peace